Hey, it's Mark Keen here from Microsoft, and I'm going to show you how to do a very, very basic policy definition and then assign the policy definition to a, an Azure subscription. I'm doing this for a, a customer of mine I met today who wanted to know how to do his very, very first policy, and that's to be notified uh, when an Azure virtual machine had been created in their subscription. So here we go. Um, couple of ways to get into the Azure policy section either at the top here you can type in the word policy um, if I can type correctly and then it'll come up in the list and you just select select it here as you can see or you can add it to the menu here on the left hand side to do that you go to all services here and you type in the word policy or part thereof you see policy listed here and you click on this little yellow star there right and that's added here now to the menu so there we go so I'm going to click on that it takes me to the policy section okay policies are fairly straightforward it's all JSON based it's not too difficult to uh, to work out what's going on with policies um, the hardest part is to actually build the JSON now I'm just bringing up an article here um, which I would strongly suggest you have a look at it's called Azure policy definition structure structure it goes through the whole entire structure of your definition um, the conditions here that you can add to it the fields the effects so here we go deny audit append audit is the one we're going to do today so it'll, we'll be able to tell when an, uh, when an Azure virtual machine has been created it'll audit in the Azure monitor area um, yeah so check that out so again it's Azure policy definition structure awesome article to read to get started otherwise you can go to definitions here in policy in the portal and you can have a look at a pre-canned one that's already there i'm selecting my subscription and you can steal some code out of it and you can build your own it's not too difficult as i said it's a little bit tedious to, to start with now i've already created one if i scroll down in my policy definitions here i've got all these built-in ones here that's then there's one down the bottom here that says custom so if i edit that and let you have a look at what i've done in here it's fairly straightforward policy rule if here you go field is resource type so it's type if resource type equals this resource type here which is any uh, Azure resource uh, Azure resource manager based virtual machine it's going to do something so the effect is is going to audit the creation of the virtual machine that's it it's so so simple so that's been saved now that's a definition okay so we now have to just assign that definition to a subscription so if we go back into uh, or go into the assignments area here make sure you select your, the correct subscription I'm going to use my internal consumption one here for Microsoft so here we are policy assignments and I've, I've created an assignment already okay for, for the magic of television it's already been done and if I click on this you'll see it's assigned and if I go back out of it I should be able to edit the definition it's points yeah view definition here we go this is a definition so there we go definition assignment see nice and simple now now that that's all in place and it's hooked up to the scope which is my subscription here I'm going to create a new virtual machine and we'll see what effect or what we see so I'll just create actually I won't do that I'll do something more meaningful so give it a name so um, my policy VM that'll do policy VM username I'll call it blah whatever because it doesn't really matter it's only a test password has to be the same so don't just put whatever you want in there has to be the same whatever you want otherwise it's going to fail choose the right subscription that you want to add it to the same sub subscription that your policy is assigned to um, resource group it doesn't really matter so I'll just make it easy say so policy VM RG whatever you want okay Australia East that's fine click OK select any virtual machine it doesn't really matter the faster the better because it'll be quicker to create uh, for the testing uh, yeah leave all that default and create a, um, a virtual network and manage this that's good and go create okay cool so that's going to go and create the virtual machine I'm going to pause this video and come back when it's done all right it's all done so if you check out the virtual machine here it is all the virtual machines in here change our subscription to the correct one so just click on that and that okay there it is a policy VM let's click on it and see when it was created we'll go to the resource group here go to deployments 
and we should see a deployment. There we go, four minutes and seven seconds ago it was deployed exactly. So now, with that information in mind, notice we had it set to monitor, oh, sorry, audit, I should say. Then we click on Azure Monitor on the left-hand side here. Again, if Azure Monitor doesn't show in the menu, either at the top here, you can type in the word monitor. Um, whoops, uh, wrong button. You can have to either type in the wrong, uh, sorry, the word monitor in here or part thereof, and you can select it from the list, or you can go to all services here on the left-hand side and do it there. But I've got it in my menu section here. My menu section here. Uh, we want to go into the activity log section, by the way, too. So here we go, activity log, select the, hang on, select the subscription in here, wait for it to load, and category, we want to set this to policy, and go apply. Okay, so that's going to load all policy alerts, uh, and also too, it's going to target this subscription here where the policy is assigned to. So. Remember we did audit, so there you go, audit. That's it, so it shows up as a warning. That's all it does, so it's in. it's been logged. So if we click on this line here, and then have a look at the JSON, we can see that it was initiated by this person here, which is me, okay, that's my uh, login. So if it was initiated, initiated by another user, it would have their username there. So we click on it, go to JSON. If we scroll through here, you can see the caller, which is um, the person that deployed it, the virtual machine, okay, which is just happens to be me. But if we scroll down here, there's more details of the person that deployed it. Also too, there's details of the virtual machine itself. So here it is here, resource group name, policy VM resource group, which is the one that we created, resource type, there's, there's a match there, you see. Uh, and we keep going down, there's more information. So that's it, nice and simple. Uh, we know when virtual machines have been created um, because it says here, audit um, against a subscription and it tells you who created them and what time and where they were created. Nice and simple.